No more tears flow, flow within our eyes. Not when we know, know of all her cries. There are no tears to cry, no tears left in the eye. Just like when it's exposed to heat, water is dried. The fire that burnt her house dried the tears we cried. There are no more tears to cry, even if we tried, we cried seven seas hearing that Zahra had died. Water we yearn, yearn so we can weep. But our eyes burn, burn and no tears seep. If any would ask why, no tears left in the eye. The tears wept for Fatima left our eyes empty. No one, no eye can carry enough to soothe her tragedy. Even oceans begged us to stop feeling envy. Even deserts cried, no more tears, we have plenty. Pupils have turned, turned from what they were. Each pupil burned, burned and changed color. If they were but to try, no tears left in the eye. Ya'qub, Ya'qub, your tears changed your pupils from black to white. But the cries of Zahra changed the day to night. I see ink changes to blood before it would write that her rib was broken and her door set alight. That which had broke, broke all of our bones. The nail spoke, spoke and it atones like it. Our eyes are shy, no tears left in the eye. Fatima Zahra السلام, is mentioned in the hadiths, in the narrations. The most famous narration that we know that is narrated from Jabir ibn Abdullah al Ansari. He narrates an incident that happened that is now famously known as Hadith al Kisa the narration of the cloak and that Fatima narrates that one day the Prophet her father came to her home and there was an exchange between them and then the Prophet said that I feel in my body a weakness and so she says please come and sit down and he says to her go and collect the Yemeni cloak and place it on top of us and so she said that when I placed the Yemeni cloak on top of us, that his face shined like the moon. And then she narrates that her son Hassan came, her son Hussein came, and her husband Imam Ali السلام, came. And they all collected under the cloak. When they collected under the cloak, this is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala released the famous narration. But not only that, the Archangel Gabriel came down and covered them with his wings. And he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his salams or sends his salutations to the Prophet and his family. And wants to say that he wants to purify you, a thorough purification. Now why is it significant that Fatim Zahra السلام, was the one chosen to be under the cloak? and to be purified a thorough and extensive purification. How special is Sayyidah Fatima compared to the other ladies as they, were, they weren't really granted the permission to enter the cloak? Of course, the Prophet had a choice of women to choose in order to be under the cloak. But he chose Fatima Zahra السلام. In a second hadith, in a second narration, he says, Maryam was the lady of the women of her time. But my daughter Fatima is the lady of the whole world. My daughter Fatima is the lady of the whole world's women from the first to the last. Now, of course, in terms of the characteristics of Lady Maryam, السلام, her piety, her dress, her hijab, her God-fearing nature. Yeah? She was one of the four main women ever to have, to have walked this earth. Of course, when it comes to the characteristics of Lady Maryam, she was pious, she was God-fearing, her dress was uh, of utmost respect. Okay? But of course, with her situation and people accusing her um, uh, of, uh, of, of having a child without being married or being married, 
Um, there, you know, we, we have small trials and sometimes we lose faith in God. But in, es in essence, Sayyidina Fatima alayhi salam, is greater than all the women. Why? Because Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, says, we Imams are the hujja on man. But Sayyidina Fatima is a hujja on us. So a hujja or, or, or an example on the Imams. And another ha hadith um, narrated from the Holy Prophet, he asked, the commander of the faith of Imam Ali alayhi salam, do you know why my daughter was named Fatima? Imam alayhi salam replied, no. He said, because she and the Shia, the followers of her school, are separated from the fires of hell. So of course, we're not just the Shia or the followers of Imam Ali salam, but we are the followers of truth and of the infallibles. Okay? And there is a reason why we follow Fatima Zahra salam and Imam Ali salam because of their truth and what they stood up for. No flesh can soothe the pain of a bone that's broken and no tears can do justice to her oppression. I see the dead within their graves, they awaken. When they hear her crying, my muhsin was taken. Even dead plead, plead those by the door. Don't let her bleed, bleed and her blood pour. Don't let that child die, no tears left in the eye. If our eyes were the earth and the seas were our tears, our planets would be as dry and as barren as Mars. Don't you know that upon that night falling were stars? When Ali burying Zahra would find her scars. For every tear, tear that his eyes shed, planets would hear, hear and turn blood red. Nothing left in the sky, no tears left in the eye. The tears ran out seeing on her chest those orphans eyes fell from their places watching how each one mourns but how the eye yearns that tears to the eye returns to soothe the tongue of hussein when water he yearns he will they flow flow and soothe his first if the eyes know know then they would burst and when the heads raised high no tears left in the eye and when the heads raised high, no tears left in the eye.